Hi, I'm Linda from Paper Boutique with Linda.com. Today I want to show you how to make a quick accordion fold mini envelope album. First, I want to thank Laura Dennison from lauradennisondesigns.com for her wonderful video tutorial. I'm going to include a link to her video in the description below. She is an amazing artist and I made a few modifications to her tutorial and I want to share them with you. Well, it all started when my sister Di sent me this beautiful album and I loved it so much that I decided to make one too. My sister also utilized Laura's tutorial. Let me go ahead and open it and show you this beautiful book and we'll be making it in just a few moments and it opens up. I hope you can see that. I'm going to go a little a little off camera. There's the top of it. There's actually five envelopes in this project and let me show you some of it. You can open the flap and you can open the flap of the envelope and then there's a flip out here. I'll pull this up and there's another flip out that my sister did. I think it's just gorgeous and then just another flip out. And lastly, let me pull this up so you can see it all. Isn't it beautiful? And the trick is if I can get it back the way it, it was and you'll just close it up. Before I move on to show you the album I made, I just want to mention one thing. My sister followed Laura Dennison's directions and used a punch as part of the binding system. I did mine a little differently. And I'm going to, in this video, in part one of the video, I'm going to show you how to do the binding. Let me just show you the video album that I made. And I'm going to go ahead and open it. And I just want to mention that the first part of the video tutorial today, I'll zoom out just a little so you can see all of this. The first part of the video tutorial today will just be on how to do the binding system. In the second part of the video, we're gonna do we're gonna do the cover and decorate the pages. Let me pull this open for you. And like my sister's album, I also have some flip outs. And I just fell in love with this paper. And we'll talk more about that in the second video. And then I don't know if you can see this. This is one last flip. Then I'll go ahead and fold this up and show you how to how to make it. The other thing I want to point out is I followed this particular type of binding on the top here based on Laura's tutorial. My sister did hers just a little bit different and we'll talk about that. Well the first thing I want to do is bring in some envelopes. You're going to need five envelopes for this project. As I stated, you're going to need five envelopes for this project. I use the A2 size envelopes, which are four and three eighths by five and three fourths. I'll zoom in just a little bit closer so you can see that. Now what I'm going to do in this tutorial is show you how you can make it any size. If you have envelopes that are six inches square, you can do it. If you have envelopes that are seven inches, whatever size envelope you have will work. And let me show you how to do that. First of all, you're going to measure the length of your envelope. And in this case, we know, let me get the right one here, it's five and three fourths inches. So if your envelope was six inches, you'd be measuring six inches. And then you're going to cut three strips that are an inch and a fourth wide. And I'm going to show you why we do that in just a moment. Let me bring in an example. We're going to join them together. But Laura, I know that this is very, very difficult to see because it's on white and it's the only white one we're going to show. Laura Dennison used an eighth of an inch channel. But my sister and I both used a half an inch channel because we like to have our albums a little bulkier. So that's one way I differed from Laura. When I make a mini album or something, I always do a mock-up. And in this case, I did a mock-up in white and pink so that it would be easier for you to see. So we're going to go back 
and we're going to start with the bottom, the bottom two here, which are right here. You're going to take your piece of paper that is an inch and a quarter, and I'm going to just bring in the scoreboard to show you. In order to get that channel, you're going to score it at a half an inch. I hope you can see that. And another, then you're going to move over a quarter of an inch and then you have a half an inch. So in each one of those three pieces, you're going to have a fourth of an inch channel. Okay. Now my sister made these a little bit wider and punched them using a paper punch. And for those directions, you can watch Laura's video. I found the best way and the easiest way to attach these is to turn your envelopes over and make sure all the flaps are going the same direction. And then all I do is put score tape on this. And let me just think for a moment here. I put, <laughs> okay, let me start over. I put score tape on the back right here and here. Lift up the score tape and then you're just gonna line it up the reason I turn it over is so I can line it up on that score line. You're not, I'm gonna move my hand here. You're not gonna cover the score line. You wanna be a little ways away from it. Then you're gonna do the exact same thing on the bottom. And you're going to repeat that. Let me show you this. And you can see I made a mistake here, so I had to rip it off. So you'll repeat it here, and then here, and then here. Now, if you notice, this last channel is thicker. Whoops, I'm out of frame, sorry about that. This last channel is thicker and the reason for that, I'm gonna pick this up and I'm gonna fold it. The reason is when you fold all of the pieces together, you want them to lay inside there. So the rule of thumb when you're making this particular project is to cut the last piece, this last channel here, you're gonna make the channel three times as wide as your previous channels. So if these channels were a quarter of an inch and each one, and you're gonna have three of them, let me just show you. One will be here, one will be here, and one will be here. That would be three quarters of an inch. So this piece is going to have a half inch here and a half inch here and then a three quarter inch channel. So that's very important. And the reason I did mine this way, and we'll talk about it in the next video, is when I go ahead and mat over the top of it, all you'll see on the front is that particular, this will all be covered up. So let me just show you one more time what it looks like from the inside when we're done. There's that three quarters of an inch. If you open it, it's a little easier to see on the blue. There's that quarter of an inch, quarter of an inch. And what I forgot to do at the very beginning is just show you the back. I just went ahead and matted the back. Well, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and fold this up. And the one thing that when you're folding it up, you'll have a valley fold, then you'll have a mountain fold, then a valley fold, and this will fold on top and go like this. And next week, we're, I'll, I'll have the video up for part two and I'll show you how to do the cover and how to decorate it. And if you have any questions, just leave them at the bottom on my YouTube channel and I'll address those in the next video. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. And for more projects and ideas, please check out my blog, www.paperboutiquewithlinda.com. Bye-bye.